Hi everyone, uh, just a quick video to show you how to format uh, a new internal hard drive on a Windows 10 machine. I think this would be the same on Windows 11 as well. So I've just put a new 8 terabyte drive into this uh, Optiplex Windows 10 machine. And if you look in Windows File Manager, it's only showing the local disk C. So despite the drive being in there, it's not yet showing it. So all you want to do is go to the Windows search bar and type in create and format hard drive and then just select that option. And then once you get there, it's going to tell you because there's a new disk, you need to initialize it. You can see here, here's my system disk and here's the new disk uh, that I've just plugged in. So it's unknown at the moment. So I just need to initialize that. So just click on OK on to initialize. So as you can see, the new drive, it's in, but it says unallocated so to install the new drive just right click and click on new simple volume and that's going to open up a pop-up wizard then press next then it's going to show you um, the maximum disk, disk space so i'm going to keep that as standard there's no need to change that that's detected everything properly this is an eight terabyte disk uh, then press next assign a drive letter so here you can choose what you want it to be I actually want mine to be E, but you can choose any letter that's currently unused. So when you get to this one, this is the format settings. You can choose the file system. I need NTFS, so you can create a label here uh, to name it. I don't want to do that, but you can also do that again later through Windows File Manager. So again, press next and then press finish. And that's going to go ahead and do that. You can see it says formatting down the bottom. That's it. All done. So now if you open up um, Windows File Manager again and you have a look, there you go. There's the new volume E all installed. So if you just right click here and press rename, you could actually change the volume name there or you could have done it during the um, the setup wizard. So that's all there is to it. So if you do install a new disk and it's not showing up in Windows File Manager, all you need to do is open the disk management system and then activate and install and um, just format that to the required uh, standard. That's it. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing and maybe even hitting that notification bell so we see each other in the next video. Take care, everyone.